Hello fabulous DIYers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this halter tulip mini dress. So if you guys are interested on learning how to drape this bodice, let's begin. So you're going to be needing muslin fabric. I'm working with a yard and a half to two yards and it is 54 inches wide. So first we're going to have to prep our dress form by creating the halter design shape using the 1 8 of an inch ribbon. You can find this at any um, craft store that sells ribbon. So here I'm going to create my shape. You can create any shape you like. I'm going to stop at midway of the neckline because I don't want to take it all the way to the shoulder. And I'm going to pin down all the way to the side seam of the dress form, um, the shape of the halter. You can go deep, you can go lower if you want, you can go higher, you can go straight across if you want. Again, I'm going to repeat the same process for the back and bring that over to the side seam. And as you can see, it will look like this. Now I had cut about 20 inch long piece of muslin fabric and I folded it in half to get me two pieces. And I'm going to draw my one inch mark at the edge of the muslin at the selvage. And once you have your selvage drawn in, it's time for you to drape. So I came down two inches from the top of my muslin piece and pinned down along the, uh, the front of the bodice. Now we're going to be draping the first panel um, before the princess. So this is the center front panel and all you want to do is smooth it out. I've shown this before in my other video, my drape um, sweetheart bodice. And all you want to do is just smooth it around the princess seam. We're going to follow the princess seam when it's time for us to mark the center front panel part. So just smooth it down and get it as smooth as possible. You can gently pull a little bit to get it all nice and neat. Shape it around the neckline. Here I couldn't get it in so I'm going to go in and snip into the neckline, not all the way to the neckline, um, just enough for me to ease that fabric in pin it into place and just adjust. Now I'm going to draw in the neckline and then I'm going to follow the halter neckline all the way down to the princess seam. You want to feel for it. You want to mark down the princess seam as you can see me doing it here and then you're going to draw in your waistline at the waist tape mark. I'm going below the waistline tape mark. If you are draping above, keep that consistent throughout the whole draping process. Next, we're going to be draping the side panel. And I'm going to place my muslin piece, the rest of the excess that I had left over. I'm going to take this drape portion and place it right in the center of the princess panel. You want to again smooth everything out, pin to adjust. and make sure everything is smoothed out at the side seam. If you see that you can't get it neat at the waistline, you wanna go in and just snip to ease the fabric. As you can see, it's a little puckering happening at the waistline, so I'm going to snip that in with the scissors. So I'm coming in and snipping it in. Don't snip it all the way into the waistline. And this will allow you to reshape the waist of the panel. Here there's a little bit of access, so I'm going to fold it into a little dart so that way I can um, remove that excess. This will be disregarded when it's time for pattern making. Then the same place starting from the princess seam, you're going to trace that down and then also trace in your waist. Then you want to follow the side seam as well and trace that part. Then along the neckline, including the dart, you're gonna trace that up into the princess seam. There goes your princess panel. Next, it's time to drape the skirt. Now with my other portion of the muslin, um, I drew my one inch mark, and I'm not going to place it at the center, I'm gonna place it at the princess seam at the side. And the remaining of the fabric, I'm gonna put it towards the side seam and pin there. Now there's a big gap in the front so I'm going to adjust that by making pleats and I'm going to pleat it towards the side 
princess seam and I'm create three pleats. I'm going to I'm going to evenly distribute it along the waistline. And you just want to shape the waistline of the skirt. And if you need more room, just adjust your side seam so you can get more of that pleating into the waistline. So I repinned. Now I want my waistline to be more smooth and easy for me to ease everything in to make it nice and smooth. And adjust my pleats again. So nicely smooth them and adjust and just pin into place. The length of the skirt is the length that I want my dress to be. So you can go longer or shorter if you like. So now I'm going back to the side seam and I'm going to adjust the side seam to get it as neat as possible to shape the skirt. So what you want to do is just shape around the hip. Try to um, adjust the pleats as you, as you try to shape the skirt. I'm pleating and putting and removing those pins that was holding the skirt into place just to give it some ease so can, the pleats can flow naturally. Just readjusting it and shaping it at the side. Just smooth everything out. And just pin. Next, I'm going to go now and make my curve. And this curve is going to create the tulip style. So I'm going to curve it all the way down to the end of my skirt. All the way to the side seam, as you can see me taking it. Now I'm going to remove those pins since I was holding the pleats in place. I'm going to adjust the length of how I really want it. And I'm going short because I want my dress to be a mini. So all you gotta do is just reshape the side. And adjust the pleating. And as long as you like the way it looks, this is what it looks like. Now it's time to draw in the waistline. And with the pleats in place, you want to go ahead and draw in the waistline and then mark each pleat by going up and down vertically where the pleat meets the fabric. And then keep taking it over. Here is a closer shot of what I'm doing to mark the pleat so that way I know where to place my pleat when it's time for fabric or pattern making. Here I'm just putting a pin in place of the pleats so that way the pleats won't move for any reason. Continue to mark the waist all the way to the side seam. Now it's time for us to drape the back. And I got a larger piece this time. This is the length of the dress that I'm creating. Um, I'm placing the center back line at the center back of the dress form. And I'm now gonna shape around the side seam to get the shape of the dress. Now this part, um, you're gonna have to just shape as best as you can because the back will have a dart. So as you can see, I am shaping around the hip and everything else. Now once you have everything shaped out, you want to go in and pull in that excess fabric that's at the dart area. Just squeeze and pinch and you should be able to shape the dart all the way down to the end. Once you shape the dart, now go back at the side seam just to adjust the bodice so that way it can be more of the shape that you want. At the top here, it was a little bit of access at the neckline, so I'm going to create that small little dart so I can um, 
take away that access. This will be disregarded at the pattern making part. You want to copy and draw in the halter back and then bring it down at the side. Don't forget to draw in your waist mark and bring it all the way down to the bottom of the dress. Then you want to draw in your dart. So you're going to follow the dart, make sure that you drew in the waist and mark the dart on both sides. Then I'm going to draw in the back neckline and it should look like this once you complete. Now it's time to adjust your pattern pieces and I'm going to perfect my lines. Anything that's out of shape, out of line, I'm going to go and just use my curve ruler just to reshape it. So as you can see with the center front panel, I'm adjusting the princess seam and the neckline. Then you want to add in your quarter of an inch seam allowance at the neckline and your half an inch at the neckline of the halter and princess seam. Then at the bottom, I drew in my half an inch seam allowance. I didn't add, I just drew it in. And then um, in the center front of the bodice, I'm going to add a half an inch as well because this will be cut twice. Now we move on to the side princess panel. And here I'm just again perfecting my lines with my hip curve ruler. And I'm going around the armhole, making sure that dart is in place. I will not remove it. I'm going to clean up the armhole line. And then after that, I'm going to draw in my half an inch all the way around the princess bodice. Next, I'm going to be working with the skirt now. This is the front portion of the skirt. And I'm going to leave all pleats in. And I'm just going to perfect the waistline with my hip curve ruler. And I'm just going to draw over those pleats. So that way I can see the line and then adjust the side seam again with my hip curve ruler. Then after that, I'm going to go and add my half an inch seam allowance at the side seam and at the waistline, making sure that the pleats are still pleated. And then lastly, I'm going to do the same thing with my back bodice and at the neckline you can see that the dart is there I'm just gonna go and draw over that and add my quarter of inch seam allowance and with my hip curve ruler I'm just gonna perfect those lines again at the armhole and at the side seam then I'm going to draw in my waistline and then I'm gonna open up that dart and then reshape the dart just to perfect the lines. Once everything is perfected, I just go ahead and add my seam allowance once again. And when everything is complete, it's time to cut out your pattern. Um, here in the back dart, I'm just going to pin it back into place. So making sure the waist matches together and pin along the dart. Then you want to cut out all your other patterns. Here in the skirt, I'm leaving the dart in place and I'm just going to cut across and at and down and down the side seam. Here I'm cutting out the princess panel, leaving that dart there. and the center front bodice. After that, you wanna go ahead and put everything back together. I'm going to pin it at the seam allowance. So here's the front bodice. Then I'm gonna connect it to the front of the skirt, pin them at the waist. Here it will look like this and then pin the back portion of the front bodice over to the back part of the bodice. And it will look like this. At the bottom of my bodice, 
I wanted to adjust the hemline at the back portion so I since it's connected to the front I know where to end it so I draw my line and cut off the excess and voila this is the pattern piece the drape bodice so now I'm going to just paint it against the dress form so I can see the shape and how it fits and you just want to pin it along the center front and then swing it to the back center back line adjust it so that is it hope you enjoyed this video let me know your comments down below if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the last video of the year bye guys